CBS 46 team coverage begins tonight with another protest that started at 10 o'clock in the third precinct. CBS 46's Ayana Crystal is live at Atlanta's precinct zone three. Ayana, heavy police presence there tonight. Yeah, like you just mentioned, there is a heavy police presence out here in Grant Park. Let's show you exactly what is going on out here. They have pushed the protesters back about 30 minutes ago. Police announced to the protesters they had two minutes to get on the sidewalk or leave. And there are a few protesters still here with signs, but they're telling me they are frustrated that these officers are taking away their right to peacefully protest. So here they have blocked off this intersection. There are at least 300 officers out here with zip ties ready and masks on. There is a SWAT truck in the middle of the road. They're making sure people aren't in the street and are on the sidewalk. We are here at Atlanta Avenue in Cherokee to give you a perspective where that is. We're right by Grant Park and Zoo Atlanta, which is right in front of the Zone 3 precinct. Now, this is the second night they have protested out here in front of the Zone 3 precinct, and I'm told there were a few hundred last night. Now, this is the precinct that would respond to the Wendy's on University, but it's unclear if they responded Friday night when Rashard Brooks was shot and killed by Atlanta police. But what's interesting is we're not seeing any protesters out here from this vantage point, just a huge police presence. Now, officers have shut down Atlanta Ave and Cherokee Street with just officers up and down throughout the streets, making sure that this situation is controlled and nothing gets out of hand. Again, you're not seeing any protesters out here at this moment, but just a heavy police presence out here. And of course, we will continue to monitor the situation out here and bring you the very latest details. For now, that's the latest in Grant Park. Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News. Ayana